What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So this week uh, we're going to learn how to draw a mailbox in SketchUp. So uh, I realize a mailbox may not be the most compelling, amazing model idea ever, but uh, just remember with everything that we do here, you can use these principles to model other things as well. So it's a great place to kind of learn just um, th the idea of these Monday tutorials is just teach you how to draw like basic shapes and then uh, those are principles you can go on and apply to the other things that you want to model. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we're going to go ahead and first thing you're going to do is you're going to use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle that's 4 inches by 4 inches. So tap that R key and then uh, click once to set your base point and then tap in 4 comma 4 and hit the enter key to draw this rectangle just like this. And then you're going to take that and you're going to extrude it up 42 inches. So you've got a 42 inch high post right here. We're not done with that yet. We're going to extrude this again, but we're going to use the push pull tools uh, toggle new starting face option. So what you're going to do once you've set this the first time, you're going to click again, but you're going to tap that control key just like this. So when you tap the control key, you can see there's a new line right here. So what that means is SketchUp starts a new face in our mailbox. So if you don't tap the control key, it just continues this line up. If you do, it starts a new face right here. So that's a really valuable thing to be able to do. So you're going to extrude that up 18 more inches just like this. And uh, I'm going to go in and save my model, and uh, you should always kind of save your model as you go, just in case, you know, something goes wrong in the model or something like that. You don't want to lose all your work. All right, so now that I've got my model saved, what we're going to do now is we're going to draw another box right here, uh, the same size, so 4 inch by 4 inch. And uh, this should kind of lock you to a square right here with the inferencing, but if for whatever reason it doesn't, just start with the corner of this line and then just type in 4 comma 4 and hit the enter key. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that face and you're going to extrude it out just like this. So you can extrude it out probably 24 inches is probably about right. So once you do that, you can come in here and I would put everything in a group just to keep uh, the geometry that we're going to model from merging with this later just in case you need to resize it or whatever. It's always kind of a good practice once you're done drawing a basic shape. Um, if it's not something you're planning on merging later, uh, to put it all in a group. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to draw a canvas right here. Um, that's, that's what I'm calling drawing a shape that we can then draw the profile of our mailbox on. So basically you're going to draw a 6 inch line out from the center here. And then you're going to go up 12 inches. You're going to go across 12 inches. So basically what you're doing is you're drawing a 12 by 12 rectangle centered on this point right here. And uh, if this comes in backwards like that with the dark face, you can just right click on it and click reverse faces. But then what you're going to do is you're, gonna, you're going to draw an 8 inch line right here. So you've got kind of a, a point. And then you're going to use the arc tool. So tap the A key and click once to set your first point, click again to set the second one, and then extrude this, or uh, just uh, set your midpoint at the top right here. And so what you've done is you've kind of roughed out your mailbox shape. And then you're going to use the push-pull tool, so tap that P key, click on this face, and you're just going to extrude this to the end of your line right here. So now you've got kind of a roughed out mailbox shape. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the face of this, or we're going to extrude the face um, sorry, we're going to draw the face of this uh, using the offset tool. So you can activate the offset tool by tapping the F key. And then you're just going to come in here and you're going to offset this by one inch. Just like this. So just enough that you've got kind of a mailbox door looking shape right here. Um, so once you've offset this by an inch, you've got kind of your door shape. We're going to come in here, and the way this arc should have drawn, if you look at it, it's actually a series of uh, straight lines creating an arc. So what you should be able to do is come in here and just draw a line across the uh, two points that are one down from the top point here. So that'll give you kind of a good starting point. If for whatever reason your arc didn't work that way, um, just draw a line across in here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to 
let's call this a quarter inch. So you're gonna draw a line down that's a quarter inch. And based on that, you're going to make a rectangle just like that. So come in here, draw that rectangle, and then you're gonna push pull that rectangle out probably, let's say about an inch. So you've got kind of a tab here. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to draw a quarter inch line, and then we're gonna draw across like this. That'll get us another face to extrude. Then just use push pull to extrude that up probably, uh, let's call it a half inch. So now you've got this kind of like pull tab on the face that you can use to open the mailbox. And uh, one thing just to kind of note on this is we're not looking to draw every little part and piece. We're not looking to draw a hinge or anything like that. You can definitely come in here and do that, but uh, you just have to kind of be choosy in your SketchUp models with uh, what you're actually modeling. Um, you know, because you could go th down the rabbit hole of just modeling all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, you know, and you can get into as much detail as you want, but if you're just drawing a quick mailbox, especially if it's going to be in the background of something, I wouldn't spend a whole lot of time on that. So now that we've got our mailbox kind of roughed out, um, drag a box across it and go ahead and put that in a group as well, because again, I don't want that merging with anything else. And then uh, we're going to come in here and we're going to model our flag. And uh, so to model our flag, we're just going to generally draw a line up probably a foot from the center point right here um, we'll call this we'll call this an inch thick go ahead and draw another line up probably nine inches and basically we're just roughing out a flag shape so you can go with whatever feels good to you on this but I'm gonna draw this at three inches and then finish out this shape just like this maybe here we go. I'm going to finish out this shape just like this. And then I'm going to extrude it. Not a lot, just probably an eighth of an inch. Just give it a little bit of depth. So, and then we can come in here. We can right click on that and we can make that a group as well. So, um, the next thing I want to do is draw kind of the diagonal support down here. Usually these have like a wood support that comes across the way. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and draw a, you're going to go ahead and draw a guideline nine inches here and nine inches here and the reason that you're doing that is you want these to be equidistant so that this comes across and it looks okay you don't want one of these to be four inches down and the other like 14 inches down because it looks a little funky so what you're going to do is you're just going to draw another four by four box on here so you can just type four comma four with the rectangle tool active and you're going to do the same thing over here so four comma for so that you've got two boxes and then you're just going to kind of infill these just like this you're going to draw lines from from all the corners and don't worry about the the fill or the infill that it did right here we're just going to come in here and erase that so when you first draw this line across it's going to fill this space in so just select that face and just erase it and then you can come in here and if it drew some of these um, with the dark side facing out, just right click on them and click a reverse faces so the correct, you know, faces are showing out. So, and then you can come in here and you can put that in a group if you want to. And then, uh, you know, one more thing we're going to do, this is probably the last thing unless you want to come in here and color this. So we're just going to add a little, uh, a little detail to this top piece here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did before where we come in here and we create a new starting face with the push pull tool so activate the push pull tool tap that control key and then uh, toggle that new starting face so you can go ahead and call this let's call it three inches and all you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to extrude you know what let's call it two inches and then create one more face that's two inches just like that and then all you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to extrude each one of these sides or push pull each one of these sides out by an inch just like this so come around and just do all of those by an inch and then you can come in here and you can erase these extra lines that it creates and all we're doing is uh, creating kind of a wood cap you know to give this a little little interest so that it's not just a boring top on here and you can get as uh, in-depth with this if, as you want
Um, and then the other thing you can do if you want to, and this is kind of optional, but you can come in um, and use the 3D text option to add numbers right here and you can put that really anywhere you want you can just do one 3d text piece and just put it on the side of the mailbox you can uh, come in here and put them in so that they're kind of centered on this face right here probably put them a little bit higher up but you can do these however you want to do them I'm just using the 3d text tool in order to put them in here I think having some numbers on the side makes it look uh, makes it look a little bit more realistic Alright, so now we've got our mailbox in here. And uh, the only thing I'm not really liking about this is I'm not liking having this post sticking out all the way underneath the mailbox. I think it looks a little bit better if it just sticks out under most of the mailbox. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push pull this three inches back just like this. So you got a little overhang on your mailbox right there. So anyway, if you want to, you can come in here and color this, or you can add uh, names or decorations on the box, or kind of do whatever you want, but this gets you a good starting point of just kind of the principles that you'd use to create a shape like this. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end this video. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button down below. That'll really help me out. If you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm coming out with new SketchUp content every week. I'd love to have you along for the ride. So something new that I'm doing is, uh, you know, if you wouldn't mind considering supporting me on Patreon, um, you know, I'm, I'm coming out with a whole bunch of new SketchUp stuff every week. I'd love to have you along for the ride either way, but a lot of the time things like uh, plugins and extensions cost a little bit of money, and I'm trying to do everything with free trials and everything else because I just don't have enough money to go out and buy a copy of every one of the things that I'm trying to show you how to use at the moment. But even if you could commit like a dollar a month to help out, you know, that would be something that would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. So uh, please consider checking that out at patreon.com slash the SketchUp Essentials. I'll uh, link to that in the show notes down below as well. And uh, finally, um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought, if you enjoyed the video, uh, if you're doing anything like this different. I just love having SketchUp conversations with you guys. I'm really passionate about this and uh, I just love having people come in here and uh, check out the videos and learn some new stuff. So anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap everything up. Thank you so much for watching. Watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.